Tonight we are asking you, do you recognize this man? It seems people in the Morris Heights community do. Many are telling us all about the man they say was well known in that area for decades. And it all comes after he was found dead in the water off of Starlight Park last month. Today the NYPD back in that area where he was found to continue their investigation. News 12's Marilyn Buckley joining us now with more on how he's being remembered as police continue to try to find out more about him and connect with his family. Mary Lynn. Amanda, Kurt, we've learned that this very corner is where this man the police found in Starlight Park called home for well over a decade. Now, all of this coming into our newsroom when people called in saying they recognize this man and we spoke to some of them tonight. They say in this neighborhood he's not a John Doe, he's Baba Luke. It's a nickname that they gave him after a phrase that he often mumbled. But many of them telling us tonight that he was family here. All the time he would say Bablu, 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 Bablu. And then, um, yeah, he was very kind. He was nice. He was known here. He was loved. Natalie Garcia works at Sarita's flower shop. And every day as she was growing up on these streets and when she would come to work, she says she remembers seeing Baba Luke for well over a decade. He will always be in this corner. Um, giving, you know, uh, food to the pigeons. He will always walk around, say hello to everybody. Anybody that made me laugh is always a good person to me. Neighbors tell us he was a jokester who loved to dance and was part of what made this Morris Heights corner feel a little cozier. He was always nice. He was always smiling. He was um, always on his own business. He was never bothering nobody. He's always dancing. Like, if you like, you see how there's a speaker out there, he's always jamming to that music out there. So that's how you say Tony Montana. Like, he'll do that DJ thing on the garbage and all that. Like, yeah, funny dude. Although neighbors don't believe he had an actual home, he did have his local neighborhood bodega, like all New Yorkers do. The owner here tells us he visited often and will be missed. He always pay for her stuff. Yeah, never bother nobody. Yeah, he's a nice guy. We all still shocked. People in this area are wondering what exactly happened to that man they nicknamed Babalu, and so is the medical examiner who has yet to determine the exact cause of death at this time. But if you or anyone you know has any information, you're asked to give police a call. That's the latest right here in Morris Heights. I'm Mary Lynn Buckley, News 12. Clearly a loss being found.